crumbling of our nation, finished with the hammer blows of a cunning enemy, changed all that. <laughs> cunning enemy. But this country's strength has never been solely weighed by its guns and treasure. Yes, it has. 250 years ago, farmers and shopkeepers, printers and blacksmiths fought a mighty empire. Armed with little more than courage and a dream of freedom. And high-powered rifles. Today, a new generation of civilians would join our armed forces to tear oh, San Francisco. Okay, you're really going to lean on my least favorite. Like, I'm a Texan and I'm against gun control. You can lean me a little bit toward the conservative side. I don't really identify with them at all. I think most of the conservative party is fucking morons. But, at least on this point, I'll side with them a bit. But that is one of my least favorite arguments that so many people take out of context. Wow. We should be able to have anything like RPGs. Like machine guns. To put on top of my house. To defend against the Mexicans. I don't know. And while I don't think there should be much of any kind of limitation to personal defense, that's an affront to history to me. Uh, I mean, my god, crack a book. And yes, they're going all Forrest Gump with the generic rock music while choppers fly into battle. My god, come on. Originality, what's that? <sighs> but... The reason that you can say that the American Revolutionary War was won has less to do with they were allowed to. And why is that plane flying so close? My god, that's worse than the attack chopper. By the way, this is where I left off the last time. So from here, genuine first time reactions, guys. I don't know what's going to happen now. But those men were able to fight that war and win. For one, because a bunch of rednecks in the West Virginia and Appalachian Mountains were actually using Native American tactics against organized troop regiments, so what we would think of today as proper tactical engagement. But two, they were fighting largely with high-powered hunting rifles, long barrels, which really closely equates to the military rifles of the day. It was a very thin gulf of power. More or less, those armies only had manpower and cannons over the people they were fighting. That's about it. These days, the gulf of power between citizens and armies, yay, more will help, is so vast as to just be nigh incalculable. You know, because of things like air superiority, armored vehicles, and while I don't personally like the idea of there being such a vast gulf between citizens and government, with today's technology, it's an inevitability. To complain about that is absurdity. What else could you have? It's just an uncomfortable situation. But... So, so many people seem to take it out of context and create straw man arguments out of it that it just irritates me every time. And I'm sorry if I turn a few people off by discussing politics in my show, but it's tough not to while playing a game like this. So much of this is just... Stupidly political. But for respect for uh, others like myself who don't often like it when politics get introduced into their recreation. I'll end that rant there. But seriously, why are S. Why are they within visual range? They should be striking from beyond the curvature of the Earth! Seriously, those are Su-47s! Which, for one, is a cancelled project, so... <laughs> but for two... God, I understand it's more dramatic to see them. But they would not be flying that close! Keep moving! 
I no, I'm not going to keep moving in advance into a hail of gunfire. That is stupid. But I guess I'll follow Captain Murica. Because it says so. Does the concept of clearing one's ground mean nothing to you? Well, do you want me to move or do you want me to go? I, I don't know if that's meant to be something in Korean or if they're just slurring taking fire arbitrarily in English. I honestly don't know. Again, if anybody speaks Korean, please enlighten me. I'm curious. Genuinely so. Wow, I'm seriously off the ball in Amorites today. Sorry, guys. It's probably slowing me down a little bit. Area's clear. Form up, Southgate. Hernandez, get that gate open now. Yes, sir. Why are you in the open? Halt! No. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's retreat now. No! Let's not advance in front of a tank! What are you doing? Why are we hiding inside of a wooden structure from a tank? My God! The 50 on top of it alone should be tearing through this building and knocking me into multiple pieces! Especially because, as I saw earlier, this game has destructible cover! Some, at least. No. 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 You are not going to tell me that an RPG is gonna take down a tank. That is an M1 Abrams! This is an RPG! My god, if there is anyone in the armed forces watching this, please! Light up these comments with the sheer stupidity of this segment. Oh my lord. Guys, how many videos are there on YouTube alone of tanks like this just completely shrugging off RPGs? I said it before, I'll say it again. There was a story I heard whose validity I admit I don't know. But what I do know of American Armed Vehicles, Connor, it makes a lot of sense. When the first time an M1 scuttle charges were used in action, they weren't good enough and they had to airstrike the tank to prevent it from falling under enemy control. Oh my god. Jump the shark? What's that? I seriously have to wait until he's all the way up there before I can start climbing. But you know what, guys? That must have been a Merkin RPG. That's why I'd kill it. If it was made in Merkin, it could do anything. The guys from the box art. Alright, I was wondering when I'd see them. Alright, and 
their body armor actually seems to do something. That's cool. Is that guy just confused? He's like running in three different directions. Jeez, dude. Yeah, their body armor is seriously tough. But, if they're really trying to say that the North Koreans have like dragon skin armor. Cool stuff, by the way. If you don't know about it, look it up. Then sure, why not? I'll bite. Dude, get out of my way! Alright, let's see if I can one-shot him with a headshot. No, wow, okay. That's a serious helmet. a really easily airstruck location Take the lead. with completely non-fortified structures. Why is this a strategic ah! position? Ah! Hi. I'll take that. Or I won't. No, no, I will. Yay. Okay. Jeez. Am I mistaken? Like, I, I could honestly be misremembering here, but I seem to remember the Chris being an Israeli gun. Why would North Koreans have it? You're not gonna tell me that Israelis are selling weapons to Koreans. Just no. 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 Kabura! Kabura! How we say hello around here. I keep telling you people. Okay. Why are we just alternating who's on point? What? In what school of tactics is that a thing? And why did you advance before clearing your corners? of San Francisco is so important. I guess it's because it's the only place on the entire west coast that they could make landfall and secure a beachhead. I mean, uh, yeah, sure, it's obviously where they've got some amount of control. <laughs> that was funny. They've got some amount of control, but... Really, dude? Fine, I'll go. Oh, but I'm supposed to follow you. What the? What in the? Shots out. Jesus, come on. Did anybody QA test this game? Wow, and I can't shoot them. Until they finish repelling. Who's but really, why is this fight taking place? Like, what's our objective? Yeah, I know we're supplementing the remnants of the American army here. I get that. Cool. What the hell are we doing? This is just more of that 
virus that's infected so many FPS games. Shoddy writing and pacing that just leads to a, yeah, sure, whatever, I'll roll with it, mentality. It's a complete disservice to the experience. And you know what irks me more? When I did a little more research... Oh, God, more of this. Um, you know what? F I don't care. Following Iran's incursions into the northern provinces... Of, uh, moved into Iraq, southern provinces... Of Sunni Arabia. Jeez. Iran moved into northern Iraq following the Iraqi government's collapse last month in an attempt to stave off growing ethnic unrest. Since the departure of the United States from the region, there have been a number of conflicts between Sunnis and Shiites. Oh, my, are you really going to make that bold-faced a political message? That you're that against us pulling out. That you're just gonna say... Oh my... No, 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 no. Oh my god. This is political porn for Rush Limbaugh. I'll say it. Anyway... Where was I? Yeah, after doing some research, come to find out that the uh, supposed CIA analyst who helped as an advisor for this game... Um, had originally addressed the writer's intent for the main antagonist of this game to be the Chinese. Which, while far-fetched, yes, because they've basically already won World War III without firing a shot. They've won it economically. Um, sorry if that offends anybody, but start breaking things down, and that's basically the case. Um, they don't need to fight us openly because they've already got us by the balls. Um, but while, yes, that is a far-fetched idea that we would go to open war or that they would go to open war with us, um, with reference to the Chinese, I, this advisor apparently told them that the Chinese just aren't scary because we have such significant trade with them, that we've become used to them, you know, on a social level. Guys, how much do you know about China? Short of Jet Li movies and what you see on CNN and Fox. What do you really know? Yeah, that's what I thought. Not fucking much! I know a fair amount because I watch a lot of Vice. And I try to educate myself beyond what mainstream media tells me. And I know that makes me sound like a nut just saying that, but deal with it. Um, I don't have got to wait for him to get... Oh, I know, I don't. Cool. But, to say that China isn't scary enough, so we need a more insidious enemy, which really kind of colors in a lot of what this guy thinks of the world. Or I guess playing upon popular fears. I mean, how much fear-mongering is that? And then instead, nominating... No, not the Russians, which... Hell, that war could still happen. We've got him flanked. Lay down some fire. I don't like the idea of that, and again, very unlikely, but more likely than China. Another one down. Now let's go with the North Koreans! So yeah, no bullshit, this wasn't a stupid idea from the beginning. I mean, it was, but it wasn't as stupid. Did he just say stay out in the open? Why? why would I, and why am I still alive right now if there's an enemy tank looking at me? Oh, that's why. Because I have plot armor, and because our tanks are special. Because they're hurt. Welcome to Oakland, bitch! Uh, hi. Good to see you guys again. 
Delayed reaction much? You four with us. We're clearing this bridge. What? Oh. Everyone back away from the gate. We're sure. gonna bust it down. Hmm. I wonder what destroyed that tank. Do you think it was an RPG? I think it was an RPG. Because my objective is eliminate the RPG enemies. I don't trust you guys to cover my flank. Because I don't trust the writers of this game to have scripted you to do so. Lord knows, you will not disobey the god of script. Wow. That guy's pretty uh, quick on the draw with that RPG there. And did you hear the choking noise that I made when I died? Apparently, like, the, the rocket went in my mouth. That's kind of funny. So we're gonna say it was a couple of shoulder-mounted rockets that took down an M1A. We're, we're, we're gonna say that. 